So once upon a time, uh, Microsoft had a program called Photo Story 3. And if you remember, it looks something like this. And essentially, you could drop your pictures from your camera or any other device, and you could make a movie out of the pictures with uh, graphics and titles and that sort of thing. It was clean and it was easy. Well, they discontinued Photo Story 3, and eventually there was Movie Maker. Now, Movie Maker not only lets you bring still photos in, but it lets you actually bring in video as well. So you could put titles, effects, videos all together, even music, and make a nicely polished uh, movie. Well, they got rid of that as well, and now there's something called Photos. So it's an app, and it's part of um, Microsoft's Windows 10. So if you go to your window down the bottom left-hand corner, I like to just click on the letter here. And if I go to the P for Photos, and then go to this app, it's pretty quick and easy, blue and white, it says Photos. What will happen is, is you're going to see all of your, kind of your photos that you have saved to your computer. So that's kind of just... And aside, you also have albums or video projects that you're working on. So lots of different things. But it's going to think that you want to use uh, your photos for this. And then depending on which version you have, if you come up here, if you see the word presentation up here, that's kind of an older version of that of uh, photos. What you want to hopefully see is new video up here. So if you do that, click New Video, you have two options. You can create an automatic video, which is what I'm going to select in a minute, or you can choose Custom Video. So once you get used to the program, you may want to go here, but to start off, you may want to start with the automatic video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Automatic Video, and again, it's going to go out to all my pictures that I have. And I have um, some pictures for a program that were, um, Caitlin... Sangbush's students did. They used a program called Blender and they created, first of all, they had these anvils. So I'm going to choose those. And then they also created these things, uh, these donuts and cup of coffee. So her students actually created these in Blender and believe it or not, these are not photos. These are just digital creations, which are pretty awesome. And in kind of the notes, I'll make sure that I put the students' names because they did all the work for these. So once I've selected the pictures I want, I just click Create, and I'm going to call this Blender Magic. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to create a video for me right off the bat, including music. I'll just turn up the volume here. So it's going to create text with the title that I created, and it's going to put music. Now, if I'm not a big fan of the music or how it was put together, I can just click this Remix button, and it's going to take a, just a few seconds, but it'll change the music and the titles and everything. And now, it's going to create a little spicier music. I kind of like this music a little better. And it's going to mix up the photo. So, pretty nice. Now, if you like your creation that they've done for you, you can just export it and share it, and you can save it as an MP4. You can email it to somebody. You can also share it out to social media if you wanted to. I'm just going to click the Edit Video button, so this will allow me to kind of change up some of the um, features and functionality that it did. So here's all of the pictures. So this is what it would look like if you created a movie from scratch. So you could have, you know, there's different themes up here. But if you kind of scroll through the pictures that they've put together, you could move pictures. So if you wanted to reorganize some of the pictures, you could do that. So pretty clean and easy. You'll notice it gives a time signature down here for how long it's going to be there. I usually think one second is kind of small. So if I click the duration button here, I can change it. I'll put five seconds for that one. I could also, if I needed to, resize the picture. I could add a filter to a picture, so if I wanted to change the look of that picture, I could do it. I could add some text to it, so if you wanted to add, say, a, um, a border to it, you could do that. You can. They've got just three simple text styles here, so I really like uh, the simplicity of it. Okay. I'm just going to cancel that. And then, again, you can change the, uh, the duration of each slide. I want to give it a little bit more because one second is pretty, uh, pretty quick. So I'm just going to change those. So each student 
to see it again, you can even go further for each picture if you wanted to. You could also add video to this. I know I'm just adding pictures here, but you can add video as well. Okay, and I think that's all the pictures. So, quick and easy way to do some text motion if I want to add like some 3D effects or just kind of what they call the Ken Burns effect where it's going to move across the page. You can do that. You can also, I really love this thing, there's, there's some 3D effects you can use. So um, when you select that, you can do um, confetti, you can do, I'll just put this atomic motion in here and then you can choose where you want the atomic motion to show up. You can also choose how long this effect is going to be within the frame. And then if you want to preview it, you just click the play button and you can see it work. So there's a lot of just nice clean effects that you can use with it. So really great tools that are quick, easy, and so uh, nice to, you know, be able to create a quick and easy movie. And if I export it, I'm going to just choose this for online sharing. It's going to export it out. And again, I can save it as an MP4. And I've got it. So you can use this for projects with your class if you wanted to use, uh, you know, again, maybe you're talking about the plant cycle. You can put some uh, pictures together. If you wanted to do an end of the year project, you could do that. If you wanted to just do some ex explanation videos, you can do that. So it's clean, it's easy, and it's, uh, it's a great program from Microsoft.